here we are comparing the Albrecht Durer watercolor pencil and the Goldfaber Aqua watercolor pencil. The Albrecht Durer watercolor pencil has a 3.8 millimeter lead. The Goldfaber Aqua has a 3.3. Once the color is dissolved on your paper and dry, it is permanent. Here you can see the difference between the Goldfaber watercolor pencil and the Albrecht Durer watercolor pencil. This one, the, the Albrecht Durer looks a little bit more vibrant. Let's show some more colors. So here again is the Albrecht Durer. You can see how vibrant the color is. And here is the gold fiber. Still very vib vibrant. Do another color. It's a big difference. These pencils, very similar to the Polychromos and the Goldfaber. They are both SV bonded color pencils. The Albrecht Durer color pencil has a California Cedarwood barrel. Another major difference between these two color pencils is the Goldfaber Aqua has 48 colors, whereas the Albrecht Durer comes in 120 colors. Albrecht Durer is also available in Magnus with a 5.3 millimeter lead in 30 colors. They are available in sets of 12, 24, and 30. So here we have the Albrecht Durer color pencils. You'll note on the barrel that it's labeled SV bonded. This little brush indicates that these are watercolor pencils. And on the back of the barrel, it has the color name, the color number, and the three star light fastness rating. The biggest difference between the Albrecht Durer color pencil and the Polychromos color pencil is the shape. The Albrecht Durer pencil has a hexagon shape, whereas the Polychromos is round. The Goldfaber Aqua is a watercolor pencil and like the Albrecht Durer color pencil, it is also a hexagon shape. On one side is listed the name Goldfaber Aqua, on the other side of the pencil is the UPC and the color number.